Hello everyone, welcome to part 193 of ecom series in Laravel 6 and in this video we are going to continue integrating pay you money payment gateway in our website uh, that we have started in last video. In last video we have seen uh, that we able to install the package and you can check that we able to install the package successfully here in composer.json you can check out that software in pay package has been installed 1.1 version. Okay, so in this video uh, we are going to integrate this pay you money in our website uh, so few of the things we have done in last video we have uh, just updated the gateway here pay you money and we have found the pay you money uh, test uh, merchant key and salt uh, from pay you website uh, okay so in this video uh, now we are going to uh, uh, update in uh, here in our payment gateway so uh, here in our files we are going to update uh, so that we can able to integrate the pay you money in our website so i'm going to log in in our website uh, i am going to uh, going to run my account here i think this is my one of my account here one two three four five six okay i'm going to check here users one of the user your status must be one amit 2000 will work okay so i will add one product so i will check out check out here so here i will add pay you money as well uh, up till now we have added cod paypal and now it's the time to add pay you money so i am going to add this uh i will update order view blade file so i will open order view blade file here i am going to add a new label here for pay you money so I am going to copy this one because this one is the prepaid pin count so we will add in this condition because if the uh, like we have done that thing like if pin code is available for prepaid then only these two payment gateways are possible okay so here I am going to add pay you money here I am going to copy this one pay you money pay you money all three and do like this and here uh, you can see cod paypal and pay you money okay so if you will click on place order it will ask you to please select payment method even if you will click on pay you money it will ask you place place uh, please select payment method because you need to add pay you money in jquery as well so update main.js file you need to update here in here you need to update public uh, js and in front end here you need to update main.js file you need to update so here you can find uh, select payment method function you can find here select payment method function here so here you need to add pay you money as well i am going to copy this code and will paste it here here you just need to add pay you money pay you and like this okay so now it will allow you uh, it will accept this one but before continue uh, we need to add the condition here in products controller as well we need to modify the place order function see in place order function uh, right now we are done for cod like if payment method is cod then we are doing this thing if payment method is paypal then we are redirecting the user to paypal but now we want uh, for uh, for pay you money as well so i am going to copy this code now and I'm going to paste it once again i'm going to do and i need to add this condition also so i'm going to copy this condition also just for saving time we can uh, do like this so here i am going to mention pay you money like this one okay so pay you money i just require to add here redirect user to 
pay you money paid and here also pay you money so the user will get redacted to pay you money page and now uh, we need to add the route this route we will create this route pay you money we have added the redact link but still we have not created the route uh, but before creating the route we need to uh, add one controller as well we will make the separate controller this time uh, for paypal we have used the same products controller you can see for paypal we have used the same products controller we have added in press controller but this time uh, we are going to add the separate uh, route uh, and we will write here pay you money routes okay we can do like this and one separate controller i'm going to add here and i'm going to add uh, in our here i am going to add uh, one separate controller i will give command php artisan make controller okay so here pay you money like this okay so i will create this controller get it successfully so here i am going to open pay you money controller as well but now i am going to create the route first of all i am going to create the route here get route i am going to create for pay you money okay so this controller and this function we are going to use this uh, pay you money payment okay uh, so now uh, we can open the pay you money controller and can create this function uh, where we will pass the parameters of the order uh, we will pass the test parameter first to check whether it will work fine or not so we can open this one pay you money controller and can create one function here public function pay money. okay so here we are going to add the test uh, uh, so here also uh, we can take help from the package given us uh, this package see you need to add the parameters here uh, of pay you money like this and also you need to add the header as well in this file so simply add the header here in this file so you can add like this okay and uh, here you can add the parameters uh, so this one you can do like this this one all required but we will modify the parameters this one like this you can do you can remove this space if not required okay so here we are going to update and uh, we will give the uh, pay you money parameters that i am going to give now but first of all we will check once that whether we are going to come up here or not we are going to debug now that uh, we can reach here or not so we can place one order here i am going to click on place i'm going to refresh once again and now pay you money then place order then you can see we have reached a test so it means it is working fine okay so now we can give the test parameters here to check uh, whether our pay you money is working fine or not if work fine then we are going to place the actual order like we used to do in paypal in another payment gateways like in cod okay we will pass our order id everything we are going to do like a real order okay so first of all uh, we will give this one statically so here uh, pay you money parameters i'm going to give here 
सो दैट इज टी एक्स टी एक्स एन आई डी इज यू बनी पैरामीटर सो वी विल गिव सम आई डी लाइक यू कैन गिव बिकॉज इट मस्ट नॉट मैच ओके लाइक दिस suppose this is your order id so you can give it like this and here also order id we can give this is the just the test uh, we are doing but we will later on we are going to uh, implement with real order okay so now amount then we need to give here first name first name we can give my name amit we can give any email i am going to give amit thor the red dot of your mail dot com phone these all are user input whatever user will give that will come up here from your order means this is the user information that user give while placing the order so this time we are doing uh, manually but uh, later on we will do dynamically after that we require to pass product info product info also we will uh, pass this uh, txn id and here i think this is not required we can remove uh this quotes from here okay and also not required from amount so we can also remove this one from amount and we can simply keep it like this also okay so here in phone we can give but here also uh, product info in product info also we are going to pass the order id like this then after product info uh, there is service provider we need to give but this one we keep it empty these all are provided by pay you money so sorry here nothing will we need pa not pass anything we don't have anything so after that zip code i will give my city i will give my state as well i will give my country as well Okay, so I will give address as well. I can give anything X Y Z. This is not my address, but just I am giving here. Uh, we need to give like address one. Pay you one email. Accept it like this. Address one, address two. If there is address two, then we can give. Otherwise, we can left it empty as well. We will give something like. A B C like this. Okay, so one more thing we need to give here, and that is the call. We need to give it here. We can give URL. Pay you response. We can give here response. Pay you money response. We can give. okay we can give it like this response
ओके सो दिस वन वी हैव गिवन एवरीथिंग लाइक दिस नाउ वी विल चेक दैट वेदर अवर टेस्ट पेमेंट गेट वे विल वर्क फाइन वी हैव ऑलरेडी एडेड दिस सार्ट एंड मर्चेंट की and few uh, more things you need to do here we have added the header statement as well and one more thing pay you money just open pay you money gateway dot php and disable the service provider here you just need to disable this one this one you need to disable otherwise it will give error okay so uh, now in pay you money uh, there is one form also here here everything will come from there uh, uh, from that it will be passed to here uh, where it gone our see this controller and it will be passed to that form okay so we need to update that form also so here a uh, few of the fields we need to remove here uh, we will not keep these fields this field you can remove uh, udf uh, and pg field you can remove these are not required so you can remove these fields and the rest of the fields you can keep yeah rest of the field you can keep okay there is no issue but uh, you can remove these fields rest okay so now uh, now we are going to test the pay you money uh, so i am going back here first i will refresh uh, see uh, the product is still there so i am going to click on pay you money now uh, now see the uh, see Uh, here it it will not pick this product we have given the dummy parameters so that parameter it will pick that parameter only okay this parameter amount will go as 1200 amount will go and order id will go like this okay so don't worry this one we will also do but first we are going to test it okay so i am just clicking on place order and has been used previously okay they have already used this some of the user because this one is common they provide merchant id and key as a common to every user so they have already some user have uh, used this uh, order id already used this order id so we can do it like this we can just simply add more uh, after this one we can, i can do like this so this one i will add here in order id so i hope this one is unique no i will go back once again and we'll try now i'm going to refresh and now i will try once again and we'll see that this time it will work or not i will click on place order and you can see 1200 amount has gone up and now the pay you money is working fine you can see yourself with transaction id this one okay so this is the transaction id that we have given and that is going fine and with the amount is 1200 rupees and that is also working fine and you can see the options here there are two many options you can pay with credit card you can pay with debit card even the international users can use this one uh, if you are from some other country uh, uk usa or any other country uh, from across the world then you can also uh, add this pay you money payment gateway uh, in your uh, website uh, only this option will not come net banking but they have the option for other countries as well uh, this option will not come but other option will come credit card debit card okay uh, so all these option even g pay is there google pay is there upi lazy pay paypal paypal also there uh, okay you if you will implement this payment gateway then you don't need uh, don't require to implement the separate paypal pay payment gateway okay so visa checkout see the option emi and wallets see wallets also here and paytm also in pay you itself there is paytm so once you will integrate this pay you money payment gateway 
then you don't require to integrate any other payment gateway at all okay see here free charge amazon pay also here amazon pay is the famous payment gateway now so so means famous wallet now so now there are all the options almost all the options cod is also here so they provide each and every option uh, worldwide options are here so once you will integrate this pay you money uh, then you don't require to integrate any other payment gateway so you can try integrating it uh, so right now we have just done the test uh, package uh, just test now we will uh, update this one uh, and uh, we will uh, place our actual order and after placing the order also we will use that test card uh, and uh, in response also we will uh, make those things like make our orders as successful payment capture will come uh, there and email will also go to uh, admin as well as to user so all those things we will do after successful payment and all this we are going to do in next video okay so uh, i hope that up till now everything is clear to you and if you have any any queries then you can surely contact me in video description just contact me over there okay uh, so uh, we are going to make this dynamic with actual order in next video and then we will also work on its response and also we will uh, do the api as well that will tell us that whether the uh, payment has come off uh, means if in case some of the user uh, payment fails uh, or some of the user paid uh, the, the amount but uh, uh, failure is coming uh, to him uh, but he, actually uh, the payment got uh, directed from his bank uh, for that also we are going to uh, add the api for that and we'll work on that thing as well so that uh, the payment uh, that status actually updated uh, from our end that will we uh, do from cron job okay that all we will uh, do in next few videos i will tell you in detail so that's all for now uh, uh, so you can contact me if you have any queries so that's all uh, for now have a nice time goodbye